Saint Martin de Porres Velázquez O.P. was a Peruvian lay brother noted for his work for the poor and known for many miracles such as levitation, bilocation, and miraculous knowledge among others. His feast day is celebrated every November 3rd. Martin was born in the city of Lima, Viceroyalty of Peru, on December 9, 1579. He was the illegitimate son of a Spanish nobleman, Don Juan de Porres y de la Peña, and Ana Velázquez, a freed slave of African and native descent. He had a sister named Juana de Porres, born two years later in 1581. After the birth of his sister, the father abandoned the family. Her mother supported her children by taking in laundry. He grew up in poverty and, when his mother could not support him, Martin was sent to a primary school for two years, and then placed with a barber surgeon as an apprentice. Under Peruvian law, descendants of Africans and Native Americans were barred from becoming full members of religious orders. The only route open to Martin was to ask the Dominicans of Holy Rosary Priory in Lima to accept him as a Donado, a volunteer who performed menial tasks in the monastery in return for the privilege of wearing the habit and living with the religious community. At 15, Martin was admitted by the Dominican convent of the Rosary in Lima. He was received first as a servant boy, and as his duties grew, he was soon promoted an almoner. He also took on kitchen work, laundry, and cleaning. After eight years of Holy Rosary, the prior Juan de Lorenzana decided to permit Martin to take his vows as a member of the Third Order of Saint Dominic. However, not all of the members accepted the decision of the prior. In 1603, Martin was allowed to profess religious vows as a Dominican lay brother. When Martin was 34, he was assigned to the infirmary where he was placed in charge and would remain in service until his death. Martin was known to take in the sick outside his convent, often bringing them healing with only a simple glass of water. He ministered without distinction to Spanish nobles and slaves recently brought from Africa. When an epidemic struck Lima, Peru, the sick friars were locked in a distant section of the convent, separated from the professed. Many accounts suggest that Martin passed through the locked doors to care for them. The professed, too, saw him suddenly beside them without the doors having been opened. When the provincial superior forbade him to continue bringing in the sick, his sister offered her house to those whom the religious could not hold. When the prior heard of this, he reprimanded him for disobedience. Martin replied, Forgive my error, and please instruct me, for I did not know that the precept of obedience took precedence over that of charity. Since then, the prior gave him liberty to follow his inspirations in the exercise of mercy. Martin begged for arms to procure necessities the convent could not provide. In normal times, he succeeded with his arms and even gave a remarkable sum of money every week to the indigent. Along with his daily work in the kitchen, laundry, and infirmary, Martin's life is said to have reflected extraordinary gifts. He also founded a residence for orphans and abandoned children in the city of Lima. Martin died on November 3, 1639. At the time of his death, he had won the affection and respect of many of his fellow Dominicans and people outside the priory. When the body of de Porres was exhumed after 25 years, it was supposedly found intact and exuded a fine fragrance. Pope Gregory XVI beatified Martin de Porres on October 8, 1837, and the cause for his canonization was opened on 8 June 1926. Pope John XXIII canonized him in Rome on May 6, 1962. He was declared to be the patron saint of people of mixed race, and of innkeepers, barbers, public health workers, and more, with a feast day on November 3rd, also commemorated in the calendar of saints of the Church of England. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.